This is a very, very, very last minute video, but I feel like y'all deserve one because I've been gone for two weeks. And I need, excuse me, and I need to stop. Oh my soul, I need to stop. Like this going, posting, whatever. I hate it. Like I miss y'all so much. Like, it's ridiculous. So, what better way to come back to say that I'm officially back on YouTube as with the life update? Yay, I'm back on YouTube. Woo big cheers, big cheers. Um, I'm currently in the business of making a video, and I kind of am going to say the same things in here, in there, on here. Because this is going to be the first video that comes up. And I kind of want it out by tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm going to hurry up and just try my best to chop this, edit this. And get it out to y'all as soon as possible. But I did make like a posting schedule. And I want to share it with you guys. So y'all know when I post. Because I'm going to be consistently back. On the UB of the Tubi. So... I should let y'all know my weekly posting schedule. So I'm going to try to upload at least twice a week. Because, first of all, I didn't even introduce myself. Hi, my name is Lindsay Soraya. Soraya is not my middle name. My middle name is actually Michaela, But it kind of rhymes. But Soraya also means star. And I have a huge star tattoo on my neck. I love stars. I like the shape. I like feeling like a star. I like being bizarre like a star eating bars owning cars you get the point that is me hi nice to meet you if you're new and if you're not new hey bestie welcome back to my channel i know you miss me i miss you too mwah, mwah. but there's gonna be like a little chit chat rant vent talk to y'all because i feel like i never had a really sit down video and talk and y'all get to know me for real because my first video was a day in the life I think and I just went straight to it I kind of did like a little introduction in the video but it wasn't a real one so this is gonna be a nice in-depth talkity talkity this and the third video yay so I hope you guys enjoy it I don't really talk much on my I talk a lot actually I, I, I can yap I can yap see the intro is already three minutes long so Oh well. But yes, I like to yap. And today we'll be yapping. So please comment down below so we can have a nice little conversation if you have any questions, want to clarify anything that I said, stuff like that, because I want to have a conversation with you guys and get to know y'all for It's 404 of y'all. Thank y'all for 400 followers. So, I mean, subscribers. So yeah, follow me on my Instagram. It is Lindsay Soraya. Follow me on all my socials. I think they're all at Lindsay Soraya except for Twitter, but I don't use Twitter for real, so don't even. When you see that in the description box, don't even mind it, okay? But yeah. I'm not gonna waste no more time. I'm gonna tell y'all what I got in store for my plans of everything. And um, yeah. That's pretty much it. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so back to what I was talking about was my weekly posting schedule. Um, I wanna upload at least twice a week on Thursdays and Fridays. Two, Thursdays and Fridays is insane. Tuesday and Friday. Um, I feel like those are the best days for me, especially when I get back to school. When the semester comes, the new semester is coming. Um, kind of align my schedule with that. So basically, talking about how, um, what's it called? I don't even know what I'm talking about. So for YouTube, I'm going to post on Tuesdays and Fridays because that's the day of my schedule where I don't have class. I don't have class next semester on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. I did that just right. But I only have online classes and two in person. So I have four online, two in person because I'm trying to graduate on time. We'll get into the school talk later. Um, and I'm going to try to record and edit between the days of Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and the weekend. So I'm going to be recording a lot. And then hopefully I'll get my own room. If you know me and you know this channel, it's been a running theme of my roommate. We'll get into that later. But and then I'm gonna plan out content every Sunday. So 
I already plan out content every Sunday anyway, so that's pretty easy for me to do. Not really pressed about that for real. And then for Instagram, I want to upload every other day. So that's Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So now I am posting something tomorrow. Don't care. Um, but I do need to learn how to start batch recording. Where it's like you record multiple things in one day. And then you just post them and edit them. Like you record one day, you edit one day. And um, then you post on your days that you need to post. You know what I mean? So I want to do something like that. Um, yeah. May I respond to text messages? Y'all, by the way, it's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. It's 1029. Thanksgiving is almost over. But somebody out there still eating. So, shout outs to y'all. Okay? This video is going I want it to be out tomorrow. Literally. Like, I don't care if I'm talking for 50 straight minutes. I'm going to edit that shit. And have it out by tomorrow. Because that's the dedication I want to have. The discipline that I want to have. Because what? Yeah. So. I think I want to do my, like, my talking in sections. Because there's a lot to chat about. I want to talk about me first. I always put you first. I want to talk about me, then school, then, I guess, updates for this channel as well. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, let's start with me. Let's say that. Sorry the lighting is bad. I left my ring light at school, but I bought the tripod that actually left the actual light in my room. That was dumb. That was really dumb. Okay? But for me, I have been... Okay. Let's just say... Let's be honest. Let's be real here. I've been good. Okay. Alright. Fine. Any generic word. That is because the semester is almost over. This semester has been kicking my butt, okay? Like, junior year is not playing around. And also, since I'm a transfer student, I transferred from NCAT to Norfolk State University. So, um, what's it called? There's a video on that on my channel on why I transferred. Y'all can go watch it. I'll leave it in the I. Let me see if the video swings that. Anyways, I have time. Um, <laughs> um, so I transferred. I'm a transfer student. So half of my credits didn't really transfer regardless because Norfolk doesn't take C minuses. And I think I had like two C minuses in my NCAT class. So it only took a few things. So it kind of made me a second semester sophomore. And I'm totally a junior. So I've been trying to graduate and clock my T and graduate on time. Well, my prospective date of May of 2026 instead of the spring of 2027, Ali, I'm not doing, I'm not doing another year of college. I can't do this. I'm tired. I'm tired. Okay. So like, I'm like super tired of all this. So, um, I want to graduate in May of 2026. So that means I only got like, what, a year left or so? I'm not next year to be senior year so i've been trying to lock down on my classes but there's been so many distractions like so many distractions um boys yeah i'm gonna I'm admit it boys men dudes i hate y'all no i'm kidding but in a sense i kind of do because the way y'all be just my heart like that like that's crazy like i can make a whole book about the many times I've been heartbroken, treated, used badly. I can make a whole video. If y'all want a video about my story times of men, comment, please. I beg. I want to do that video for y'all. So please comment that below. Because y'all need to know the lessons I have learned and how I've grown. It's beautiful. But, you know, I have such a kind heart and I'm very sweet, kind, nurturing and all that jazz. So, I kind of get used a lot. Kind of get used a lot. So. It's kind of bad. Kind of bad. And yes, another distraction is my tooth. I broke it at Chili's. It was kind of like semi, I don't know how it like was already cracked, but like, I ate a quesadilla and that shit broke. And I was just like, oh, come on. It's like right in the middle too. Like you can see it. 
So I've been like very insecure about it, but I'm still cute. Still cute, but I need to get it fixed. I'm getting it fixed by the end of this year because I'm not going back to school with a broken tooth. Period. Um, so I kind of been insecure with that, but back to boys. They just been these men are nothing like I don't see what the hype is about on my cell. Like I do not see what the hype is about because I'm like, you say you all this, but when I don't give you what you want, oh I'm trash, I'm ugly, I'm this, I'm that. You wanted me five minutes ago. And then you have the nerve to say, well, or you do, or you do like what you see and you like what you hear in my mind and all that, but you're not ready for a relationship. So the amount of times y'all pull that card on me when I just gave you my heart and soul, not talking about sex, but like I just gave you my heart and soul, like my caring self. What was the purpose? We could have remained strangers. We could have remained strangers. So that kind of distracted me this semester going in down depressive episodes of like, oh, he broke my heart. He broke my heart. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. Then I kind of grew out of that. Like I used to be real bad with like love and stuff. It used to be ridiculous. Like I would break down. I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing this no more. I don't want to love no more. I don't want to do that. I'm still giving people chances, and that's probably a problem, but I'm still giving people chances. It's just more so the fact that when somebody breaks my heart, I'll be sad for like a day, and I'll be like, well, we only live once. We ball. Okay, we ball. So it's kind of just like that. And if you see me like looking weird, I got my knees up. And it's much comfortable for me. I have terrible posture, but you know, who cares? So yeah, um, but on the lines of that, it's just been like ridiculous, like on my side. <sighs> but other than that, that's the boy situation. We're not going to talk about that too much because I could care less. I've gotten to a point where I'm about to become the man. Not like gay, but like I'm about to become the man. You know that TikTok trend women in men's fields? That's me. That's me. I'm going to act like a dude. Y'all finna get heartbroken real quick. I'm finna be, finna be tough, okay? But, um, anyways. Then the next portion was the work that I was receiving from school. It was just so much. Like, physical science is doing a toll. And I low-key, like, I've never been this down bad in grades. I'm passing now, but if you caught me, caught me all through the semester... Yeah. 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 Like, I was failing, bro. Like, and it brought me so much pain and lack of motivation to see my grades drop this low. And I have no clue. Like, I have the clue why I was unmotivated. And I low key thought for a second, I'm gonna drop out. I still kind of have that thought in the back of my mind, but like, I want to drop out for a little bit. Just a tad. Just a tad. Um, I don't know what I would do because I would have responsibilities back here at home. But if I drop out, I would probably regret it, maybe. But if I wanted to drop out, I would I would have been doing it already. I probably wouldn't have even gone to school, but I want to pursue my career. But I feel like when I do YouTube and stuff, I'll be like, man, forget school, forget this, forget that. Because when you see, like, actual progress coming in with, like, your content and stuff, it kind of, like, um, it kind of makes you want to oh, rethink your options of, like, school. Because when it comes to school, it's kind of like, okay, I go to school every day, I do this, I do that. And then when it comes to content, I can never stay motivated with that because school always takes over. Because school does come first, but I'm trying to make passive income. You hate it being broke. I'm tired of the broke college kid stereotype. I'm trying not to be that. I'm trying to be rich in college, okay? I'm trying to make that bank. I'm trying to make that buck. Because, like, I'm tired of being broke. Like, I'm tired of having $2 in my bank account and I have no more meal plans left. And I'm looking sorry eating noodles in my dorm room. Like, that is so bad. Like... 
oh my gosh, you know? So school, so that part of like the grades work and stuff, the overload, I was getting, it was, and then the lack of motivation and the depression was real. Like it would be many times I would be like crying and like I do suffer from depression and anxiety. I've been diagnosed. And I do go to therapy and the therapy helps, but I felt like I've been lying to her because I'm like, oh yeah, I'm doing great. I'm doing good deep down inside. I'm like crying my heart out in my room because I'm just struggling. Like, and I have no clue why. It's like, where's this little motivate? Where's my motivation? And as many times as I'll do a reset, I'll do a start over, I'll try again. I always go back to the same place and I hate that. So I've been trying to, new year, new me for real. And I don't care what nobody say about that saying, like. This next semester, I'm going in. I only got four online classes and two in person. And it's physical health. Physical PE. What? No. It's PE and health. Oh, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. Ow. I just put that nail on yesterday. Oh, my gosh. This is what happens when you talk with your hands. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. Oh my gosh. Did I? Hold on, y'all. I just broke my nail. <laughs> y'all, this is so ghetto. <sighs> but you gotta do what you gotta do, okay? Like, I'm gonna just get another nail on tomorrow before my interview. But that hurt my finger. I'm trying to remember where I hit the finger at. Make sure no scratches or nothing. I don't even remember what I was talking about. What was I even saying? I don't even remember for real. Like, I gotta stop talking with my hands with the long nails because I was talking about it. But I think I was talking about New Year, New Me, I think. I hope I was because I'm not going back and rewatching the video. That's 13 minutes of something I don't want to rewatch until I start editing. Um, because I don't know where I stop and I can't, like, fast forward, I don't think. So. New year, new me. Um, I'm going hard next semester. Oh, physical PE and health. Right, 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 right. And, like, I'm still not yet in my major courses because I transferred. Like, senior year is probably going to be the most history classes of my life. And I'm fine with that. I love history. So I'm a whole history major. Like, it makes sense. But, yeah. Um, next, I'm still talking about school is my roommate bruh oh my gosh my see it's like the living situation that i'm in is so bad i don't have two roommate contracts in place in hella tears in defiance and anger and rage and rage there was rage yes she's so rude and inconsiderate and loud and I'm older than her. Like, oh my gosh. I would, uh, just know the roommate situation is not good at all. I don't want to say too much because I still room with her and I don't want to say anything. And somebody knows her on this video and want to send it to her. I don't care, but I'm not trying to get kicked out of school for something that I said. Because what I would say is crazy. So I want to wait till I get my own room. Or at least when the school is over. Because I can talk about roommates for days. Like I've never had a good roommate experience. My whole three years of college. Like I don't know if it's me. I can't I can't think it's me. Because I don't be doing nothing. I be in the room chilling with headphones in. It's just the person. And I can't. I'm tired. And I try to stick up for myself. And it just backfired. Anyways. Um. That's not the point. The point is that my rooming situation is so bad. Like, I've been going back and forth with housing in a way this is just like a mental health thing. Because you can get your own room based off your mental health or disability, I should say. And depression and anxiety is considered a disability. So, I use that as like, okay, I can get my own single room because this rooming situation is impacting my mental health. And it actually is. You don't understand how many times I've done broken down and cried. And had panic attacks because I can't function in my own room. Like, yes, we share the room. It's a shared space and she's not sharing the space. She has officially taken over. Like, I, there are days where I dread being in there. Yeah. 
I do because like why do you act the way you act at 19 20 baby no baby no like you got it. like she don't flush the toilet what you leave your poop and period blood in the toilet see that's a whole horror story for when I graduate remind me y'all because I will make that video I don't even need a reminder I'm gonna make it that's gonna be the first video after post college life okay when I turn 22 I'm out of there you know what I mean but yeah um I think that was it for the college realm I kind of got off the points oh money money I'm broke um yes I do get a little income from Instagram reels it'd be like one to five dollars not even gonna hold you it's because i'm very inconsistent and so i need to go back with consistency that it all ties back to consistency for real so um i'm probably gonna keep this video nice and uncut that's the only way this is a random thought i'm gonna keep the video nice and uncut most of the time while i'm talking because um It'll make the video go out quicker. And it's, I need, it needs to be raw and uncut. Because I haven't been raw and uncut with y'all in a minute. Alright. So that's pretty much it for like school and me. Wait. No. Me. I still gotta talk about me. Okay. What else? What else? What else? I don't really have questions because people don't really engage in my story. So I'm really going from straight from the dome. Straight from the dome. Um, but I wanted to make this video and I feel like people are having fun at Thanksgiving and they probably wouldn't answer my questions anyway. So, I'm just going straight from the dome. Straight from the head. Take us to the courts. Come here girl, go ahead, keep going. Come to the back, go ahead, keep going. Anyways. Me though, I'm broke. And I'm tired of being broke. Um... Funny story, when I started my YouTube channel literally a year ago, I, not gonna lie, I kind of did it for the money. But I actually started liking doing this, like, and people were showing love. And I'm like, y'all like me when I am? Y'all like me when I show y'all my life? Y'all think I'm cool? I knew all these things. But when somebody else says, like, when somebody tells you, like, hey, you're my comfort YouTuber, or hey, we love your fashion tips, it helped me. Hey, we love this, we love that about you. The money don't really matter because I'm in a year strong. I probably could have gotten more consistent or more subscribers if I was more consistent, but that's not the point. I'm still here, still proud, still rocking strong. But I am broke. Like, I'm gonna be so real. Like, I have no money in my bank account right now. I got like a dollar. And what can a dollar do? Nothing. So I'm currently looking for jobs. I have an interview tomorrow at freaking Hardee's. And I'm just like, I don't want to work there. But it's right by my house. They started paying weekly. I don't even know what the pay is. And I'm done. For, I, uh, I hate fast food. But like, sometimes you just got to go back to your roots. They hire the fastest. And hey. Look, a job is a job. If somebody tells you, like, hey, yo, why are you working at Hardee's? You could be a YouTuber. YouTube don't come fast. You got to have different um, requirements to even get monetized. You gotta have, and they made it easier for you, but you just got to put the work in. I was not putting the work in. Back to going back to um, school in my rooming situation, I probably could have been more consistent while of this semester. If one, I was freaking scared. To bring my camera but i've kind of realized that hey i can use my phone i have a pretty good phone it's the iphone 15 pro max i got a pretty good phone i can use so i'm not like shoving a camera in everybody's face as well as i needed my own space to record because i don't it's like a whole situation where it's like she talks on speakerphone so like i can hear everything i've been i've been her she talks about me clearly because her mom be chit chat yeah. and it's just crazy i'm like you don't even have the thoughts put on a speaker i mean on in your headphones it's a personal preference personal preference my ass okay but i just can't record in there basically it's just not the good per i gotta wait until i know she ain't got 
shit to do, then I can uh, record. But child, other than that, I gotta make the most while I'm at home until I get this own space. So if I go ghost again, please bear with me. I'm currently in the process of getting my own room. So yeah. What else was I about to say? But back to being broke. Um, but yeah, the job is, I, I'll probably get this job because it is fast food. And you know, fast food people be hiring all the time, so. I don't see a problem with it. You feel me? I'm going to charge my phone. But I just haven't done fast food in so long. Like, I hate the environment. Like, I, it's like I wanted a job I would actually like, but like. They're not responding back in a timely manner. And the last time I had a job, they responded like late, like real late. And I'm just like, you know what? I gotta start this money now, okay? I gotta start it now. Like I am available immediately, and I don't have time to wait for you. So I'm gonna do it now. And if that's fast food, hey, I'm getting money, and you still get paid weekly. Like Hardy's just now started doing that apparently. So I'll have to wait the two weeks, whatever. No, like, I'm going to make my money. I'm going to make my dough. So I can invest more in this channel, invest more with my content, period. Because I was talking about this in the video that I'm currently making. I might cut all that out. I might just start over and start anew. But the video, what I was basically saying over there, which I'm probably going to say over here, is that, I forgot, hold on. Is that I need to start investing more in my channel. Sometimes you have to make spend money to make money. And I've realized that I can't just be sitting at home all day making, oh, I'm at my house chilling. Oh, I'm at my house chilling. I'm tired of being in the house chilling. Like, I'm ready to go out, explore, go to the mall, buy some things, travel. Like, that's what makes content great. Like, you want to see what's in my life. And my life is not being a homebody. Yes, I'm a homebody, but I'm a homebody when I need to be. But if I want to go out and maybe, let's say, go on a little target run, get some self-care, if it benefits y'all, then I'm going to do it. And if y'all want to see videos, please drop them down below. I'll be looking for ideas every day, and I have a nice little list, and I have a Pinterest board for it. But sometimes you can't do all that just yet because you don't have the money, so I, that's why I need this job. If you get what I'm saying, are you picking up what I'm putting down? I think so, so... I want to, like, for example, I want to do a room transformation before I go back to school so my room can be, like, not like my sanctuary, but, like, my sanctuary. Because I kind of like it, but I want to, like, put wallpaper up here, get some more posters. Um, the LED lights are fine because I got them on the bed and the, around the room. So that's fine. I want to get, like, a carpet, some nice sheets. Like, make it look nice. Like, make it look really, really good. So I want to do that. So I need to like start saving. And also, I think while well, me, I'm an impulsive buyer, so I will spend money like crazy. And I'm gonna try not to bring that in the new year because I need to learn how to save. And I've heard people say like, when you get a check, save 50% of it. I'm gonna start doing that. Yeah, most definitely. Definitely gonna start doing that. So. But yeah, that's the money aspect of things. Alright, so I think I finished everything about my life. If I think of something, I'll probably say it. Um, this is so good, y'all. My nails still hurt. I'm <laughs> like, uh. But yeah, other than that, I've been chilling for real. Like, um, I don't, I'm not really talking. I, like, I'm talking to people, but like. I'm not really like looking for anything romantically per se, but I always say I'm not looking for nothing romantic right now, like a relationship or none of that, but if a relationship happens, it happens, amen. I'm not going to deny the relationship, especially if I'm going to be with this person in the future, but I want to focus on me and getting me right because I love where, where what? I love very, very hard, very hard, so. Anyways, not really looking for love, but if love happens, it happens. I'm never going to deny love because I love love, so. 
Um, I guess the next thing I wanted to talk about was um, my channel, what I want to do with it. This video, I'm going to say is like the rebrand of my channel. I have really cute ideas I want to do for this channel. So if you see my, my picture change and my little banner change, that means I want to rebrand it. So Every single time there's a picture change or a rebrand change, I mean, a banner, if there's a picture change anywhere, I'm rebranding. So, yeah. Um, that's what I'm doing. Because why not? It's always good to have a fresh start. And one thing about me, I'm going to start over. I'm going to start again because I love to try. Um, I want to keep trying and try harder and harder and harder. And so, I have a few upcoming things I want to do for Christmas. I want to go see, like, Christmas lights and stuff like that. Will that happen? Who knows? Um, just putting it out there and manifesting. I want to do like certain fun challenges, meet with influencers, model more, do things like that. Because if you follow me on Instagram, which you should, I'm going to leave it right here. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I make reels and like Instagram content. And I got like 7,000 followers, but I've been losing and it's making me mad. I had about 7,800 followers. I'm now at 7,089. Where did the 6,000 people go? Like, were y'all fake? Were y'all real? Do y'all not fuck with me? Like, what's up? So, like, what's tea? Like, is my content bad? But I get the views. I get a little engagement. But no followers. No gain. No gain. And I'm just trying to figure out the algorithm. Like, does the algorithm hate me? And I'm sick and tired of trying. Like, I know it's not about the numbers, but it kind of, it just, it just a team bit is because it kind of gives you motivation. Like, people seeing you, like, hype you up and telling you stuff. And yes, I know I'm great and all, but like, y'all making me feel like I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do and I'm doing the same thing I've been doing. So it's kind of weird. But I don't want to start over. But it, maybe that needs to rebrand too. But I'm not rebranding again. Not again. So I'm going to just keep doing what I'm doing. And just try to be consistent on there. But that's low key been highly unmotivating for me. Like losing followers every day. And then you gain maybe like one or two. But you still lose like 70 every day. So it's ridiculous. Like I don't know what else to sell y'all. Like I've been trying. So I don't know for real. So yeah. But back to this channel, I want to do a lot for it. Like, I want to invest in another camera. Um, I want, because I just want a smaller one. Because this one is like huge. It's like very big. People be like, why are your camera so big? I'm like, you think it's big? And I've seen like smaller ones, they'd be like this big. And I'm like, oh, I need that. Should have went with that first. But it's fine. At least I got a camera. So. Yeah, but other than that, I think that's all. Um, I think I want to answer. I have a few questions like in the back of my mind that people think about me, and I want to address them. People think one. People think I'm gay or bi. I'm straight. Y'all could probably tell by what I was talking about, but I'm very much straight. I think it's the way I dress. Um, I kind of dress like a man a little bit. So. It's kind of my fault. What? It's kind of my fault on my end. But, yeah. It's 11 o'clock. I'm ready for bed. But I at least wanted to talk to y'all and vent, rant, do what I had to do because I missed y'all. And I've been fiending. I've been fiending y'all to make a video. So, here's your video. I hope y'all like it for real, for real. Because I'm literally straight up talking, just chit chatting and just yapping, okay? And if you like to yap, then I like to yap. And if we can yap together, we can be yapettes. We can be yapettes. But it's going to be nice and uncut, so this is probably going to be really long. So, but I'm still going to get it out by tomorrow. It's already 11 o'clock now. Um, Who needs sleep, you know? But yeah, I'm going to finish this semester strong. Semester's not over yet. Last day of classes was just the other day, Tuesday, I think. So, um, other than that, family is doing great. I've been doing good. Um, 
this. I have a lot in store for the new year. I think I'm gonna make some videos. Like I have so many videos like in my head, but when you wanna put them out on paper, it's like I'm not doing that. Or I can never really go through with them for real. And I need to stop doing that. I just need to go through because you never know what could blow up. So that's what I'm gonna do. But that's pretty much all I gotta say for y'all right now. Um be prepared to be sick of me. Y'all gonna be like, oh, she being real consistent. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. Um, love y'all down. Y'all are my besties. Y'all are like, I love y'all. For real. Like, I love all 404 of y'all. For real, for real. Like, y'all bring me life. Y'all bring me joy. So. Not to get all sentimental or nothing. Oh my gosh. But thank y'all for real. I don't know. Like, this journey of social media has, like, made me really happy. Like, there are kind people out here in this world. Have I had a few hater experiences? Yes, but I don't care. I'm still doing it. So, again, I still love y'all. There's more kind people than haters, so. That's how I think of it. And, um, yeah. I'm gonna get my rich girl lifestyle. Don't worry. And y'all gonna be right there along with me. Like, yeah. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me. Follow my spam, too. Follow everything. I'm gonna just put everything there. Um, yeah. Till next time. Bye.